Hello, this is Dustin, and in this video I'm going to be going over the import and browse hands features in Poker Snowy. Before we get started, I'd like to mention that if you would like to see what Poker Sites Poker Snowy supports, then just check out the Poker Snowy website to see the most updated list. So with that said, let's just go up to the top and click where it says import. And this is going to bring up the import manager. From here, we can either import a folder or files, either manually from our computer by clicking one of these buttons down here. Or in this case, what I've done is I've played a challenge against Poker Snowy. And so that's just going to appear up here. And once the hands are imported, it will say Analyze under the Status column. And then to actually view these hands, let's just click where it says View Analysis. And now we are taken to the Overview Stats page, which I'm going to go into more detail about in a different video. But for now, let's just take a look at actually browsing the hands. We can browse hands in one of four categories, either by Moves, Errors, Blunders, or Showdowns. Uh, blunders are basically just large errors, and of course showdowns are when we actually get to showdown in a hand. But to start off, let's just browse these hands by the moves that I actually made. So I'm simply going to click Moves. And now you see the first decision point that I had in this session comes up, and we have 10-8 suited in the big blind, and we're faced with a min raise. Here we can see what we actually did, and what Poker Snowy recommends doing. And we can simply play through the hand following the game tree, and then if we want to browse to our next move, we simply click the right arrow. And if we want to go to the previous move, of course, we can click the back arrow. When we are browsing by moves, if we go up here and click played, then we can either choose played, which is all of the moves that I made, or we can choose missed. And what missed means is spots where I didn't necessarily make an error, but for example, if Poker Snowy recommends a mixed strategy, so for example, it suggests that I fold sometimes and I raise sometimes, then if I folded, then the raise will be considered a miss, so that will come up as another option I could have taken in that spot. If we want to change the main category of spots that we are browsing, then we just go back here and click on Moves. And again, we can choose Errors, Blunders, or Showdowns. I'm just going to choose Errors right now. And this is going to show us all of the errors that we made. And as you can see in the game tree, the errors that we make will appear in red. And uh, we can, of course, filter this further by choosing the street. We have post-flop in general, pre-flop in general, or flop, turn, and river. And let's choose flop. And then now you can see in the errors, again, we have the missed option. And we also have the improper option, which are decisions that we made that were incorrect. And you can basically get as deep as you want or as detailed as you want. You can choose for times when you bet, for example, or to basically took any option. And you can choose if you bet a weak hand, like a bluff, or a strong hand. Uh, so what I'm going to try to do is filter for times when I bet uh, I bluffed on the flop, and I should not have done that. And it says none found here, simply because I did not happen to make that error in this session. However, if you did make that kind of error, then the hand would appear. And of course, you could browse through the different errors that you've made. So on top of all this, you can look for a specific hand ID. And also, when you're looking at any particular error or spot in general, um, you can click the Copy Scenario. And so let's take a look at this spot. We can just click Copy Scenario. And now a new scenario pops up in the same situation. And here we can kind of play around with it. We can change the board cards. Um, we can change our whole cards to basically get a better feel of how we should play different parts of our range in this kind of situation. So I think that about covers the import and browse hands features in Poker Snowy. Thanks for watching.